This is Joe from joesastrophoto.com and tonight we're going to be imaging M27, the Dumbbell Nebula. Glenn and I have been having a lot of fun doing collaborations with other astrophotography YouTubers, and we thought we would ask Pat Prokop from Heavenly Backyard Astronomy channel to join us uh, tonight to, to do our M27 take. If you haven't seen Pat's channel, um, I'm gonna post it right up here. It's a pretty cool channel. Um, he's got some great gear and he takes some, some fantastic images and it's all from his uh, backyard garden and his garden's beautiful. It's located in Savannah, Georgia. Tonight and maybe for the next couple nights, I'm going to be using the Edge HD8 with the focal reducer on it so that I'm going to be around 1422 millimeter focal length. I've got the ASI 294mm Pro as my main imaging camera and the ASI 174mm Mini as my guiding camera and I'm using the Celestron OAG guider. I've got also got the ZWO electronic autofocuser focusing this beast and it's all sitting on the EQ6R Pro mount. So Pat and Glenn, that's what I'm going to be using tonight. I'm going to cut over to you guys and you could tell us what equipment you're going to be doing as well. Hi everyone, I'm Pat Prokop in the Heavenly Backyard Garden in Savannah, Georgia. And first of all, I need to pause and say thank you to Glenn and Joe for including me into their project. It's an honor to serve with you two guys. Anyway, the telescope that I use to shoot at the target M27, or commonly known as the Dumbbell Nebula, uh, is the Orion Eon triplet. It's a 130 millimeter refractor telescope with a focal length of, um, what is it, 910 millimeters, 910 millimeters. I did use a filter, this is the Altair quad band filter uh, for narrow band for uh, one shot color cameras. And the camera that I used was the ZWO ASI 071 uh, one shot color camera. Now, I am very excited to, uh, to be part of this project and can't wait to see the final product. Hi Joe, hi Pat. I hope you're both well, and thank you ever so much for uh, collaborating all together. It's uh, such a great thing to do. I really enjoy it and always learn something. So uh, thanks ever so much. For my part of the project tonight on the M27 Dumbbell Nebula, I'm gonna be using the Altair Astro RC8. I've got it uh, on a reducer, a 0.75 reducer, so it'll take it from 1600 to 1200 millimeters and from f8 to f6. The camera I'm going to be using is my ASI 294mm Pro and I'm going to be shooting through just two filters tonight the HA and the O3 both three nanometers and both chroma filters. I'm going to be focusing on just that data I know that uh, Pat you've got one shot color so you're going to be getting some LRGB data for us and I do believe Joe is going to be shooting some RGB, HA and O3. So it's going to be really interesting to bring it all together and see what we actually come up with. I know that we've all got different scopes. Joe and I share the same camera. I know yours is different, Pat. But uh, it should be a really interesting project and I'm quite excited to see what we can come up with on the Dumbbell Nebula. I know that my early attempts on it have always been a little bit underwhelming to me, but never mind. Anyway, I wish you both luck and uh, long may the skies stay clear for us all. Speak to you soon. The Dumbbell Nebula, or Messier 27, is a planetary nebula in the, the Volpecula constellation. That's a mouthful. Uh, it's about 1400 light years away from home and it's actually um, a planetary nebula that has a white dwarf at its core and it's surrounding it and it's it's pretty impressive nebula it's got these I guess for lack of a better word knots that, that intertwine with it and it also looks like um, there's shock waves and explosion coming out of it so it's a very interesting target and I'm hoping that 
with a lot of our total exposure time and using three different setups that we could really do it justice. Can you hear me? Yeah, Good. how are you doing? <laughs> Good. Got a thunderstorm in progress, Some, nothing new. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, that's better than the hurricane, right? Well, yeah, I suppose. Or what was a tropical storm, wasn't it? it yeah, it was a tropical storm I got here. Yeah. I'm glad you're okay. Glad you're safe. Did any of the trees come down for you, Pat? No. Oh. <laughs> You should have been That's out there, getting it ready for the wind. Yeah. Oh, it's out. Pat, I gave Glenn all of my masters. I gave him your masters that you sent me, and he he took his masters and he put them all together. And I believe this is it, right? Let's see. And it came out really crazy. Yeah, you should have. <laughs> it came yeah. out really crazy. So we got our work oh. cut out for us. We really have that all the that videos. Course. That is, oh, yeah. So that's all the RGB, that is, HA, and O3, and one shot ball. color. <laughs> I mean, it's there's a, lot. there's a lot there. I mean, look at it all like compiled up into. So I guess we're gonna have to crop quite a bit, but maybe like this. Um. So I guess I could start with cropping. I've got some HA and O3 that I can add as a yeah, because they're registered. Well. Yeah, because they'll be registered exactly the same because I registered it all together, so it should all line up. Okay. Whatever you, whatever files you bring in, they'll all line up. So I guess we could start with the crop, and uh, you guys. So I could say that I had a fantastic time doing this project. It was an absolute pleasure working with you, Pat and Glenn, and I hope to do it again sometime in the future. I ended up getting about three nights uh, worth of data over the course of a week. Skies have been really hard here to get a clear night. Um, I think total we had 29 hours of integration time between the three of us, and the uh, post-processing was a good time. Uh, it, we spent about two hours on a Sunday afternoon to post-process that. And uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. So I hope you like this kind of content. I hope you like the final image. If you do, please smash that like button and we'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.